Well, Lisa Zarowicz will kick things off on day three then. That's a two and a quarter mile handicap, 0 to 110. And the top one is Hangu Leary for Vinny Gerard. Melancholy Cove, Leon van Rensburg. Underground, Craig Beckwith. Dimension of Time, Joshua Thurland. Alan Cat Crack for Craig Allen. Petrosian winning for Graham Clutterbuck. Riley of Ardiles for Thomas Rogers. 70 star Nick Driver. Rolling Glory, Mark Jones. And Frosty Saga, Kevin Minahan. It's a... Pretty long race this one, two and a quarter miles at Newmarket. Starts in one county and ends in another. And away they go. A little bit slow to go was Frosty Saga. But Melancholy Cove is just about the first to show as they sort themselves out. Two and a quarter miles in just one turn. And Petrosian winning is now going to go on as they race downhill through this first part of the race. It's a very steep downhill run as well. And Petrosian winning has opened up by about three or four lengths the jockey will be keen to not let that one get get away with him and it's already now six clear so Petrosian winning then is clear in the lead from Frosty Saga and Dimension of Time then Alan Cat Crack after that one on Underground and Hang You Leary but with the exception of this Petrosian winning the rest of them are pretty closely grouped and I would say Petrosian winning is a good eight lengths clear now as they race in towards the final mile and three quarters of the Cesaro which and Petrosian winning is a long way in front. It'll be interesting to see if we can keep this up. Second is Frosty Saga, the second of the three greys. Right over on the rail, Hangu Leary in the green. The one closest to it is Dimension of Time in the red and the black hoops. Looking towards the back of the pack, 70 star in the blue is just the back marker. But Petrosian winning, he's in the lead, maybe not by quite so far now. But it's a, still a good six lengths on Hangu Leary in second, Frosty Saga third, then Alan Cat Crack after that one, then Dimension of Time and Rolling Glory in underground, then Melon Collie Cove is next. Roddy of Ardiles is towards the outside, and the back marker is still 70 star. But Petrosian winning. Jockey seems to have got control of him now. He's probably only five lengths clear of Hangu Leary in second. Frosty Saga is back in third. Then Alan Cat Crack is trying to get a bit closer. The one that's got the inside rail is, I think it might be Rolling Glory. No, it's not. It's Underground. And then behind that one is Melancholy Cove. 70 star is still just the back marker as they now take this one turn at the 10 furlong point. Petrosian winning's lead is down to just three lengths now from Hangu Leary second who's got a couple of lengths on Frosty Saga then Rolling Glory and Alan Cat crack after that one and they've still got nine furlongs to race and Petrosian winner is in the lead from Hangu Leary in second then Frosty Saga Alan Cat crack is still going well trying to make some ground his melancholy cope but he's got a wall of horses to get through so 270 star but it's Petrosian winning still in the lead he's led all the way so far he leads by a couple of lengths though to Hangu Leary in second who's got three lengths on Frosty Saga and Rolling Glory is making a run up the rail then on the outside is Dimension of Time Riley Evard Diles and Alan Cake Cracker still there then comes Melancholy Cove looking for room underground also now trapped in on the rail the one that's pulled to the outside is 70 star but they're racing down towards the final six furlong and the lead is down to a length Petrosian winning then by a length to Hangu Leary the jockey just took a bit of a tug on that one then Rolling Glory is now clear third Melancholy Cove has got a clear run Riley Evard Diles is there with um, Frosty Saga, then Dimension of Time, Alan Cake Crack has just lost its place a little bit, and Underground's pulled off the fence to try and come with a run, 70 Star is wide on the track, they're all still in this, and Petrosian winning is too clear of Hangu Leary, now Rolling Glory is making a forward move, so too is Melancholy Cove, and Underground's going to try and slip through the inside as well, and now Petrosian winning is swamped, and Rolling Glory takes it up with three and a half furlongs to go, it's Rolling Glory takes the lead in the Cesaro, which racing down towards the three furlong mark then, Rolling Glory is too clear, but he's being chased by Melancholy Cove back in third is Hangu Leary Petrosian winning looks beaten Riley over ideal as he's trying to run on but it's Rolling Glory in front still by two as they hit the two furlong mark Rolling Glory is in the lead Melancholy Cove is chasing so too's Hangu Leary and Riley of Ardiles. nothing else is coming out of the back it's still Rolling Glory from Melancholy Cove and down towards the final furlong then in the Cesarowicz and Rolling Glory doesn't look like it's stopping at the moment it's still too clear Melancholy Cove is under strong pressure Rolling Glory looks like it might even be pulling away the jockey had a little look round he stopped riding but he's racing up towards that he's won this cosily it's rolling glory takes this as Arrowitz Melancholy Cove is second hanging nearly third dead underground Riley Evard Niles is after that one then dimension of time and Frosty Saga was the last one to finish and rolling glory made his move and once he hit the front they were never going to catch him were they won that pretty comfortably take a look at the full list 
It's rolling glory for Mark Jones off a featherweight. Takes it melancholy go for Leon van Rinsburg was second. Hangu Leary for Vinnie Gerard was third. Underground for Craig Beckwith fourth. And Riley Evardiles for Thomas Rogers was fifth. <laughs>